So in this video, I'm going to talk about vesicular transport and the types of vesicular transport. So first, vesicular transport is essentially a process that allows cells to take in stuff, large particles, fluid droplets, um, or many molecules at once. It allows the cell to essentially take up stuff from the environment and, or release it by using vesicles. That's why it's called vesicular transport. And so there's two types. There's endocytosis, which is taking in, so brings material in. Material in. Material in is endocytosis. Material out is called exocytosis. So obviously the cell has waste and stuff that it wants to get rid of and it can do that by exocytosis. So exocytosis is just on its own. Endocytosis, there are three types. So it branches off into three types. Phagocytosis, Pinocytosis and finally receptor mediated endocytosis. And we'll talk about what that is, but remember two categories endocytosis has more subcategories, and that's taking stuff in. So, first we'll start with phagocytosis. So, in phagocytosis, what the cell does is, let's pretend this is the surface of the cell. Actually, I'll make that smaller. This is the surface of the cell. And so, what's going to happen is, let's say that there's stuff out here that the cell wants in blue so essentially what's gonna happen is the cell is gonna kinda like indent in and then engulf the uh, material that it wants and pinch it off so it's called cell eating because it engulfs large particles. So key thing here is large particles. Actually, let me redo that. So engulfs large particles. So phagocytosis would be used to bring bacteria, dust, cellular debris into the cell. And so I'll draw this better. So what happens is the cell membrane goes like that, essentially forms a pit. And so it brings some stuff in. And then the next step would be to bring it in further. So it's kind of like this. with the stuff engulfed and then eventually right here it pinches off and so you get a new thing in here so let's pretend this is the cell membrane out here so this is out of the cell this is inside then you'll have a vesicle with the stuff it engulfed Maybe I should do this in a different color, so I'll use that as blue to mark the start of the vesicle. And we'll do red to designate the plasma membrane. So here, that would be the plasma membrane. And so it essentially just takes in a particle. And essentially, that's just what vesicular transport is. Um, the only difference would be 
really minor. So penocytosis. does the exact same thing as phagocytosis, but instead of taking big particles, it engulfs liquids slash droplets in the extracellular fluid. And so that's pretty much the only difference between penocytosis and phagocytosis. And then finally, we have receptor mediated endocytosis. So, receptor mediated endocytosis. And so, this one's a little bit different, but essentially the same. So, what happens is, I'll use red for the cell membrane again, the same thing happens, a pit forms, right, but instead of something unique happens in that the pit has receptors that bind to specifically what it wants to bring in. So those are receptors, and I'll finish the membrane. And so the receptors bind to whatever they want to bind to, and then it essentially allows the cell to be specific in bringing in what it wants instead of like a whole bunch of stuff on the outside. This is more specific. So that's essentially the difference and once again it eventually pinches off and the vesicle is brought inside finally you have exocytosis and so what happens is you're trying to get rid of stuff in a vesicle so you push it out of the cell so I'll draw some boxes to mark the stages. So first what happens here, plasma membrane, uh, the vesicle is down here with its stuff, and so it's moving up towards the outside of the membrane. And so what happens is it's going to fuse with the membrane and then essentially just spit out all of the stuff to the extracellular fluid so it'll be something like this it'll fuse and then essentially kinda of break off and then all of this stuff is gonna just leave and that pretty much sums it up for vesicular transport and I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like it and share it with your friends.